Do you find yourself constantly worrying about whether your partner will cheat on you? Trust is an essential foundation of any relationship. So let's talk about this today. And actually, this is a question I think about a lot. So I'm going to share my thoughts on this particular topic. How do you prevent infidelity in your relationship or in your marriage? Hi everyone, Mireille Nicole here, relationship coach, and I create these videos for you because I want you to realize that you have so much more power in your relationship or in your dating life than you currently think. I'm really excited for this video because I don't think I've talked much about insecurity in your relationship. Now, just because I'm a relationship coach and I'm married doesn't mean I'm totally immune to insecurities or worrying about whether or not my partner will cheat on me. Look, at the end of the day, I'm getting older, we're all getting older, and there will always be someone out there who is younger than you. I also worry about my appearances all the time, right? There are many women out there who are way prettier than me, who are taller, more endowed, who have have straight bottom teeth, who have a small straight nose, right? But at the end of the day, worrying about these things is only going to damage your relationship or potentially harm it. Another thing is that my husband works as a consultant and he has a lot of different gigs. So he's often going into new work environments, which means that he's always meeting new people, right? And also, if you know a bit of my love story, you will know that my husband and I actually left other people to be together. So there's always that fear in the back of my mind, right? That he might meet someone else and do the exact same thing. At the end of the day, you can't stop anyone from doing anything, not even your partner, no matter what commitment or vows you made to each other. But what you can control is how you think and feel about the situation. And some of the things I'm going to share with you today are going to help you exactly with that. So although you can't completely prevent cheating or infidelity, what I'm going to share with you today is going to put all the odds on your side. So here are three things that you can actually control in your relationship that will help with the way that you think and that you feel and consequently how you show up in your relationship and how you show up in your relationship is going to influence a lot of times whether or not your man is going to want to stay committed to you or stray. Now, before I get into that, let me just recognize that there are some men out there that no matter what you're going to do, they might cheat, right? Yes, I do agree. There are buttholes out there. But what I'm going to share with you, like I said, is going to put all the odds on your side and you're going to have done everything in your power in a way that feels good to you to make sure you don't find yourself in that situation or if it does happen to you, you can get out of it, you can process it as quickly as possible so that you can move on and actually find your happily ever after. So the first way to prevent your man from cheating is going to be to be fun to be around, right? Be fun to be around. Men love to bond with women on fun. They bond with everyone by having fun actually, but this is a really important one. And a lot of times if we've been in a relationship a long time or maybe we're struggling in our relationship, this kind of falls to the wayside. Or maybe you have children and it's a lot harder to have that recreational intimacy with your partner and to go out and to do things. But I really want to encourage you to really focus on having fun as much as possible. If you can, go out and do things together. Go do activities. Go out on date nights. Go see concerts. Go do hobbies together. Travel. Whatever it is that you guys like to do as a couple, make sure to plan in some time for that. And especially make sure to be fun to be around while you're doing those things. So if you are feeling a lot of resentment towards your partner, make it a point to do things every now and then where it's totally fun to be around you and you let that go. There's a time and place to address these things. And you know what? You're going to see a lot better results in terms of letting go of that resentment and getting your man to listen to you or do what you would like him to do if you're fun to be around a lot of the time. This is not about suppressing your feelings, forgetting or ignoring what happened in the past. It's about being very strategic about how you do these things. But like I said, if you have kids and it's harder for you guys to go out and do things, maybe your partner travels a lot, one of the things that you can do is just the small things, right? Focus on the small things. Be fun when you guys talk on the phone, right? Laugh, smile. If you guys are just hanging out at home because you guys have kids, if you can make time to watch something together and laugh and talk about things that you enjoy, right? Just having a positive presence, a fun presence is going to make your man want to be around 
you and no one else. The second thing you can do to prevent your partner from cheating or infidelity in your relationship is to really take care of yourself. Now, I listed a whole bunch of things at the beginning, right, about myself that make me self-conscious, right? So what I do to counteract these things is I really focus on myself a lot and taking care of myself, not in a way where I'm ignoring my partner or being cold or distant, but I find ways to integrate time for me to have healthy habits, right? If you listen to my channel, if you look at some of my older videos, I'm all about health, nutrition, fitness. So I really make a point to, to do these things on a regular basis so that I can feel good about myself. In terms of my appearance, hey, there are a lot of things we can do nowadays, right, to enhance our appearance and make us feel good about ourselves. So if that's something that is aligned with your own values, that is always something you can do. For myself, I like doing the best that I can do with what I have. I have the messy bun today. Normally, you'll notice in my videos lately, I try to do these videos with my hair all down and washed, but I do the no poo method. So if you haven't watched that video, I'm very strategic about when I wash my hair. And my husband actually today was like, why don't you just do a video when you're not like, your hair's not all perfect anyways. This is who I am and I'm making the best and still going after my goals and doing things I love, all in the name of taking care of myself. That's what it looks like to me. So yes, taking care of yourself is also going having dreams, going after your dreams, having maybe your own hobbies, going out with girlfriends, right? Doing all these things is gonna make you feel fulfilled on your own because at the end of the day, your partner, your man, it should really be a bonus, right? He shouldn't be there to complete you. He's just like the cherry on top. And being a woman that has a lot of hobbies and takes care of herself, that has goals and pursues them, is gonna be very attractive and it's gonna keep him magnetized to you. And finally, the third way that you can help prevent as much as possible cheating or infidelity from your partner is going to be by applying the relationship skills that you see on my channel, right? Go back and look at my other videos. The better you become at communicating, at arguing, I hate that word, but navigating arguments or conflict with your partner and really understanding what it is that men value and applying those techniques to your relationship, the more you're going to strengthen that bond with him and the less it's going to be, you know, possible to break that bond or the less he's going to potentially stray. Because let me tell you, there aren't that many people out there who have solid relationship skills. So the more you can master that, the more you can be the most awesome version of yourself in your relationship the more he's going to value that. And yes, maybe he's going to meet other people, but right away or pretty quickly, it'll become obvious to him that, whoa, he's really got it good at home. So hey, at the same time, this is a shameless plug, but make sure to subscribe to my channel and watch all of the other videos I've posted. And actually, if you don't have time to watch all the videos, obviously we're all busy people and I want you to go out there and take care of yourself and have fun with your partner. One of the videos you're really going to want to watch right away is my masterclass on the three secrets to fixing your relationship or creating your dream relationship right there you'll get a good summary of the skills that you need not only to stop yourself from worrying about cheating or being able to trust your partner more but to fix anything potentially that might be going wrong right now any aspect where you feel like you can't communicate or your arguments are going out of control or you just want to build your confidence and become magnetic to your dream man go watch that master class and hey if you want to talk about your own personal situation click on the link in my description and you can book a free call with me and we'll talk about what's going on in your particular relationship or dating life situation and I will tell you exactly what you need to do next to fix it. All right, so this is what I wanted to share today. Here's a quick recap. The first thing you're going to want to do to prevent your partner from cheating or there being any kind of infidelity in your relationship is to number one, be fun to be around. Number two, take care of yourself. Focus on that self-love, on that self-care. And number three, really learn and start a applying the relationship skills that you need to become the one and magnetic to your Mr. Right. If you have any questions about this video, leave them in the comments below. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.